Hello guys and welcome to the Digital Detox series. My name is Arne and I will be explaining to you what a Digital Detox is and how you can do it. There's two versions of it. There's the full Digital Detox and then there's what I would call the middle Digital Detox. This is the more realistic solution for a daily life. So we're gonna start off with the full Digital Detox. This is where you are completely removing yourself from your smartphone for a set period of time. That could be a weekend or it could be for a short holiday. You might be wondering why I have these envelopes. It's not because I'm a postman. It's because in Denmark I do experiments on schools where I make all of the students at the same time switch to a dumb phone for a period of 10 days. And to make it a fun experience, the students have to seal off their smartphones in an envelope and then you move to a dumb phone and use that for 10 days. So this is gonna be a difficult experience, but you can learn a lot from it. One of the big challenges is the lack of having some kind of navigation. I would recommend you to view it as an experience of having to ask people for uh, directions and uh, maybe looking on the map before you head out. Another challenge that a lot of people are worried about is payments. Most people are used to actually paying with their smartphone today. To solve this, you will have to find your credit card. You can also go old school and bring your cash along. Another thing that actually a lot of people are scared of is to feel bored. And the point is actually, this should be boring. That makes everything around you more interesting. That you have to be forced to be bored in order to actively want to do, like play a board game or hang out more with your friends or pick up one of those hobbies that you have maybe left behind. How do you order a taxi if you wanna find one? And how do you order food? If you put some energy into it, you can find a way around it. There are people living like completely with a dumb phone. So it is possible. This uh, leads me on to uh, what I would call the middle digital detox. The idea is that you take the SIM card and the phone part of the smartphone into the dumb phone. What you're left with here is a mini tablet now. And a mini tablet is many times easier to leave in another room or in the bottom of your backpack or entirely at home. This is difficult when it's a phone because you could receive an important phone call. And then you bring along your phone and have the peace of mind knowing that people can still get in touch with you. Also, your friends might have to get used to you being available in a just slightly different way. From the experiments that I do on schools in Denmark, one of the core things that the students are saying after the 10 days is that they actually love that they are ending up calling each other way more than they did before. I will now finish up by uh, sealing off this smartphone in the envelope. The wax is ready now, so let's put the smartphone in the envelope and seal it off. The smartphone is sealed off. This one is ready for full digital detox. That will be it from me. I hope you uh, found the two explanations useful that can help you embark into your digital detox journey. Thank you very much for watching. See you.